So the bubble tank um, with the air on here is just moving. The bubbles go up here and it just moves the ferric chloride around a bit. It means that I get a more even uh, etching. And this is after around about 40 minutes. Um, the temperature of the ferric chloride is quite, it's not hot, it's just warm. Um, around about 30, 25 to 30 degrees C, it could be a lot warmer. But this etching tank's working very well. Very even etches, good depth. Splatters a little bit of etching as it comes out of the air. Uh, as the air bubbles up, and you can see it splatters a little bit. But there, that's um, it's worth uh, it's worth that just for the sake of uh, the movement of the uh, of the fluid around the tank. Here's a part that I etched for an hour. Wasn't the best mask. It's got a few, few bits missing, a few bits came off, but you can see again. Yeah, the quality is quite good. The edges are good. The depth is good. It's uh, working rather well. And here's the ferric chloride, half a litre ferric chloride. Um, I warm this up with some warm water and just put it put the whole bottle in a bath of warm water to just get a little bit of heat into it before I used it. That was enough to bring it up to around about 30 to 40 degrees C and then it's sat in the sun since then. It's kept warm. It's not, not hot, it's not at 70 which 70 degrees C might be even better, but uh, it's better than it being cold. <laughs> 